So in this video I'm going to be doing a panel to glass conversion on this Ford Transit Custom It's just one opening sliding window in the passenger side side loading door I'm just going to jump straight into it So I've got the back of the van emptied And as always I've checked the glass, it's the right glass for the vehicle and what we're going to do is we just follow this seam all the way around I'm going to make a couple of scribes along there just to keep a straight line and that's basically the, the inner line, the inner seam the inner pinch weld on me just following for guidance Pretty straight forward Put my eye protection on So if you've watched any of my other videos doing conversions, you'll you already know that there's my bloody drill bit. Well, I seem to have lost my drill bit. I used it yesterday in a job. Looks like I've left my, my big drill bit. Get a job I done yesterday. As I was saying, if you watched any of my other conversion videos, You'll know that uh, I've got a certain technique I just use on every job to, to cut the panel out. I just cut four holes and then I can do the corners first from a narrow blade. Usually I would sheet all the vehicle out, but it's completely empty, there's no fabric or anything like this. I've put a sheet up here, just so none of the splinters go in the fabric. Um, once it's done, I'll just sweep the whole, sweep the whole van out. That's the drill done. Done loads of these over the years, so if you think I'm doing it too fast, it's just because I'm used to doing it. You should do it for yourself, I would just recommend just taking your time with it. No rush. So I've got to use my Milwaukee reciprocating saw to make the cuts. What I do is I put my narrow blade in first. The standard blades are quite wide. I've just ground this down on a bench grinder so I can do the corners on it.
So that's the corners done. Just put a standard wide blade in. This is how I get the straights. Something I've not done is I need to scribe a scribe a line along the top and bottom of the, the support strut. Any straight edge will do. So once, I've cut, once I'm cutting along this, and I get to this line, if anything, I want to cut on the inside of the line. So it's so I'm leaving I'm leaving more of the, the panel on than taking more of it off. So if it does need anything taken off, I can I can file it off at the end once I go around with my, my finger file. I always take better taking less spell out than more. done And that's the panel cut out. See if the guy's got scrap scrap pile. It looks like a scrap pile there. I'll just dump that with that. See if me getting rid of it. So next stage. Just get my finger file and I'll just go around the, the metal edge tidying it up. Just file down any uneven bits of the metal work. Obviously take the, the rough edge away from it.
just jump in the inside and get the rest of it done to the inside. my protection so you can see along here slightly uneven so I'm just going to straighten that up what tends to happen with these little sanding discs sanding belts I go through these quite a lot but they're, they're cheaper as anything saves doing it by hand Same with the bottom, we'll just have a quick visual inspection. Just along here, it could do a bit of tidy up. happy with that so that's the cutting and filing done what I need to do now is get the glass and the bodywork prepped and apply the, the metal edge trim finishing trim that'll go over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the the bare edge, bare metal edge a, a clean get away wasp. Just give it a clean with some white spirit. Just give it a rub down. And I'll just go around the edge with that bare metal with this black primer to stop it rusting. I 
this customer's just wanting this done for a uh, he keeps his dogs in the back and it's just to give the give a little more, m bit more light into the vehicle and with it be an opening window the dogs will get plenty of ventilation so I'll just go around the bare metal all the way around making sure I cover any any bare metal I'll give it a few minutes to, to dry while I'm waiting on that drying. I'll give the glass a clean, glass cleaner. This window I'm fitting today is from Camper Glass. You can see the logo on the glass there. Really good windows, good service, very quick delivery. Never had any problems with them. So in fact I did have the center one of the a wrong window at once, but they immediately sent another one out and it's replaced. Placement. So, if you're interested in buying any of these, I would recommend using Camper Glass or just Campers. That's the two companies I, I use most, whoever's got them in stock. Um, I'll leave a link in the description um, for the eBay shops if you'd like to go and have a look at that. As I say, I've fitted probably hundreds of these on all different vehicles over the years. Hey, Howdy, Paul. Hi. Hey, right. So I'm just applying, I'm just cleaning the edge of the glass and the bodywork with the, the white spirits just to get rid of any contaminants. And that just immediately flashes off. And I'm going to grab some trim. What I'll put on this is the same as a very similar to a Volkswagen Transporter T5. It's a Extra wide, extra wide trim goes right over the two panels. I just fix over like that. I'm gonna give that a clean. It's a bit, a bit chalky. You do get different sizes of this stuff for different vehicles but the XL stuff always goes on the Transit Customs and the, the Volkswagen Transporter T5s, T6s so we'll just visually find the centre basically just goes right over the both panels just 
make sure it's it's on all the way around. If there is any uneven bits on the <coughs> obviously this this trim will follow the follow the any un, uneven bits on the the paint on the bodywork. So if there is any uneven bits, you can actually just slightly move the trim just to, to tidy it up a bit. Once you're happy with that, just give it a... I always cut it. I always cut it, I always overlap it about 10mm so you can pull it back on itself and it tightens it all up all the way around. That's your nice, neat and tidy finish. Obviously that's not visible from the, in, from the outside when you fit the glass, but from the inside gives it a nice professional finish so there's no bare, bare edge. Get that cable out of the way so they trip over it. I've also got a edge trim that I like to put on the the back end of the glass. So this edge is going to be here. So what I do is I get this this edge trim here. I've got a full row of it, but I think just campers do it in little lengths for each window. Um, if you were looking to buy that, um, the link's in the description, and you'll find that on their, on their YouTube channel. Sorry, their, their eBay channel. They'll be obsessed with YouTube. So this has got a already double-sided tape fixed on it. Let's peel that back, and you can see it just it just lips over. So this large piece is on the outside. And what you want to do is you just want to tuck it underneath. Just gently make sure it's tucked right underneath the little lip on the back end of the glass before you actually stick it down. So it's nice and even. Apply, you might have to apply a bit of heat just to get it stuck down, especially in the winter, but it's a nice sunny day of the day, so the trim's decent. cut that off and that's your finishing trim for the back edge now I'll get my black primer again and I'll go around the edge of the glass this is where the bead of glue is going to go I'll, bead I'll put the, the bead of glue on the bodywork so what I want to do is you can see there's plenty of room here all the way around I don't want to put the bead of glue right in the centre I want to keep it quite close to the edge. Um, one of the main reasons being is if the window's ever got to come out again, it's a lot harder to cut out when the bead of glue's away down here. Um, unless you're using a wire tool to cut it out. So I like to go in about, about 25 mil all the way around. You don't want it too close to the edge because it could spew out and you don't want to see the, the black bond. Same on the back edge, just about an inch, about an inch in. And I'll just fill up the gap all the way around. So basically, the glass fits tight in here, 
there's maybe a couple of millimetres all the way around once it's fitted and it goes right to here. So I know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to come in about an inch, 25 mil from the end. Just put a black line right down there and the same along the top, all the way around it. Just going nice and easy. The line doesn't have to be perfect, it's not going to be visible. The main purpose of the primer is to, to give the, the polyurethane proper adhesion to both the, the metal and glass surfaces. If you don't apply this primer, the glass will stick initially, but over time it'll start coming away from the glue. So I'll just give that a few minutes to, to flash off. Because there's no locating clips or anything on these windows, just put masking tape on it just to hold it, hold it up in place until the glue dries. And this three bits of tape along there is is plenty to hold the glass. It's a heavy piece of glass compared to that, but I've done hundreds of these. Any windscreens and everything's the same. The tape holds it no problem. And after probably about 10-15 minutes, the, the glass isn't going to move anyway because it's it's taking proper proper grip on the urethane. So I'm just going to give it a quick dry lift, make sure everything's as it should be. And that's just going to sit in nicely like that. It's good to go. I'll just get my glue gun set up. By the time that's set up, I'll be ready to bond it up. So I've got my, my polyurethane ready to go. You can buy bond kits from just campers um, and camper glass as well. If you're doing it yourself and just doing individual jobs, you can just buy one or two tubes. One tube should get you around uh, average size window like that, no problem. I use a, I use Terrason, I buy the, my glue in bulk because I'm doing the job every day, mostly windscreens. Right, so, time to bond up. So I've just got a pre-cut nozzle on here, you can see it's a, a V-shaped, so when I start pumping that out it's going to be a high pointed bead. So when I, lay the, when I push the glass into place it's going to push down, get a seal all the way around so there's no gaps. Take it easy, nice and slow, a nice even bead. Should be able to get round with this tube. That's about three quarters of a tube I had left in this in this gun, so it shows you what you need. And that was a 420 millimeter tube. Uh, milliliter tube. I started here, continuous all the way around, so there's one join, so I'm just going to make sure that join hasn't got any gaps in it. It's going to be 100% watertight for obvious reasons. And that's it. Basically just line it up into position. I just go up the top corner. And just firmly push it into the glue. Don't slap it, just put pressure on it. And then just check the, the gap all the way around between the glass and the bodywork is, is the same. Look at it about two or three millimetres all the way around.
going to bring it forward a little bit. Just being, I'm just being a bit pernickety. Let's go right closer to the front edge. I've got a little bit of tape right along the top. In the side. I'm going to rip that off because I want to open this door now. This bit's sitting out a little bit. It's the shape of the glass. I'm going to put a bit of tape on here. Just push that in. I'll just fix that right onto there. I'll just sort of do that at the top as well. I'm just being really fussy but this bottom corner is sitting out a little bit It's probably not noticeable to most people but I just like to get it I've got to make a little ball of tape I'll Push that onto there I'm going to push it in Tape it up Time, I'll just show you how it how it's how it's finished. There you go. All neat and tidy. Plenty of ventilation now for the dogs. I'll give that a sweep out. So that's basically the job done. As I say, I'm gonna tidy up, put all my tools away, do my paperwork. Once I've done all that. I can take all the tape off the glass and that'll be it done. So thanks for watching.